I'm here with Ken Simonson, Chief Economist for the Associated General Contractors of America. We're here at Navy Pier in downtown Chicago, and we're talking about the President's proposed uh, infrastructure package. Um, there aren't many details about it, but uh, what we do know is it'll be uh, funding infrastructure over the next six years, yep. front-loaded with about $50 billion um, to create jobs, mainly. And um, it's, uh, it, from what we know, it's designed to, uh, to rebuild 150,000 miles of roads, uh, 4,000 miles of railways, and 150 miles of airport runways, in addition to creating a, uh, an infrastructure bank. Now, considering that last year's uh, economic stimulus package uh, basically infused about $48 billion into transportation, half of which went to uh, road transportation, do you think, uh, do you think this is enough? Well, clearly the needs for uh, infrastructure investment, including all forms of transportation, other public works such as uh, drinking water, sewerage, uh, protection from floods uh, uh, run much higher than that. It's a good down payment. Um, if it were total incremental money, I'd say that, that would make a real difference. But uh, those terms front loaded, I think, may be code for just moving up what would have been spent anyway a little faster. So we do need to see a lot more details on the timing, the amounts, and the revenue sources. Which brings me to another point. I know Chairman Oberstar would, would rather see a, a long-term six-year reauthorization. Is this the administration's answer to safety, Lou, uh, considering this is short-term and that's you know, obviously a long-term uh, funding mechanism? Well, we still don't know, unfortunately. The, the President made a dramatic announcement Labor Day, and now in late September there's still uh, a lot to be filled in. From what we can best determine, he's not going to provide those details until the budget comes out in February. Now, regarding uh, any 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 other details about this plan, is there any talk um, of, of including sustainable pavements in, in in this particular plan? Again, no, no details have been provided. We've basically been told not to expect anything before the budget comes out, maybe even after that. Uh, so it, it's pretty frustrating at this point. We would love to see an additional 50 billion. Contractors are definitely standing by, ready to do those projects. The right. state DOTs uh, certainly have enough projects that uh, this money would be put to good use. Now, the 2009 stimulus package did require uh, projects to comply with the Davis-Bacon labor standards. I, I, I assume, as you said, there aren't many details, but do you expect that to, to happen if this is passed? Oh, certainly uh, with this administration and if the Democrats continue to c control Congress, it's a given that those standards will be part of any legislation. Okay. Great. Thanks a lot for talking with me, Kevin. My pleasure.